Hey everyone! I'm trying something new today and I'm going to um, post a video blog on my website. So instead of reading my words, you're going to listen to my voice, which may or may not be a good thing. Um, I am headed out today to Tuscaloosa, Alabama for USAT age group um, nationals. This is my third year going to nationals. Every year it's been an absolutely awesome experience, so fun to race against the best of the best amateurs um, that the USA has to offer. Everyone descends upon nationals, ready to race hard, and the times that come out of the day are just truly amazing. You can't believe how many awesome amateur athletes um, there are in the U.S. racing triathlon. So I'm excited to go and toe the line with the best of them um, and to join my practical coaching friends who are coming too. So I wanted to highlight them. We have eight athletes from practical coaching headed to nationals. Um, we got Steve, Anthony, Beth, Tyler, Michelle, Barry, Lori, and Andrea. So super excited to have a big crew. We always have a big crew and we're really noticed there at Nationals because our jerseys are running around all over the place. So pretty exciting. Um, I also wanted to highlight that our good friends Amy Danwolf and Jordan Jones are racing the professional race this weekend. So we want to give a huge good luck to Amy Danwolf and Jordan Jones as they really toe the line with the big dogs. And uh, we'll be out there in full force cheering for them and, and screaming go, go, go. So good luck to them. Um, another thing that some of us practical coaching folks are doing is that we've decided to volunteer our time for Athletes for a Cure, um, and they are doing a live Twitter cast of the men's and women's professional races in Tuscaloosa, and we are going to help them out by taking pictures and posting them on our iPhones, um, doing tweets, spotting, um, figuring out who's in the lead and what the time gaps are, et cetera, et cetera. And all of that is going to be posted to a live radio show that also has um, chat abilities, and Twitter will be posting up to that. And you can find those radio shows on Blog Talk Radio. And I'll go ahead and put links at the bottom of this email to those Blog Talk Radio. You can call into them or you can get online and listen to them online and be able to chat along with it. So all of the content that we'll be posting and taking on Sunday after our own races will go up to that blog talk radio. And we're so excited to help Athletes for a Cure get more exposure, and with exposure comes um, donations. So that's a big deal to us. Um, if you want to follow along on Twitter, make sure you're following me, which is GoSonia. Um, also make sure you're following Athletes for a Cure, and that's Athletes, the number four, a cure. And then one more follower, just to make sure that you're in the loop, is Tri Boomer, T R I B O O M E R. Um, and he's the one who's running the Twitter cast, so he's a great one to follow. Um, lastly, and sort of along the lines for Athletes for a Cure, um, I want to give a big shout out and a big hello to my friend Amy. Um, Amy was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 36 weeks pregnant. That was two weeks ago. She had her baby on Monday, and uh, she has eight more days of recovery and snuggling with her baby before she goes in to have a double mastectomy. Um, Amy's a triathlete. She's a runner. She's a snowshoer. She's really active in the sport. A lot of people um, have been touched by Amy, and so I want to I want to let everyone know that um, I'm racing for Amy this weekend. I'll be racing for Amy as long as she's battling cancer. Any extra swag or goodies that um, you might be interested in handing along to Amy, we get so many of them as a triathlete. I'm trying to just collect fun stuff and give them to Amy because battling cancer is not easy, and she deserves some swag. Um, so uh, with that, uh, we love you, Amy. Rest up. and. Uh, we're out there racing for you and for Athletes for a Cure um, this weekend in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.